What's up, Algebros? Mr. Zwains coming at you with homework number 19. First problem in homework number 19 is problem 18. Calculate the slope of the line shown at the graph to the right. One nice thing is this line shows us these two points. So what I'm going to do, remember slope is equal to the change in y over change in x. And we always read our graphs from left to right left to right, okay? Now with this change in y over change in x, remember that's just the rise or fall over the run, okay? Rise or fall over the run. So let's first look at the rise. To get from this point to this point, I need to rise two. Okay, next up we're gonna look at our um, run. So I run from negative five to positive, or sorry, negative six to positive six. So that means I run 12. Two over 12 reduces to one over six. I rise one, run six. That would be the slope. Okay, next up, which equation below has no solution? Explain how you know. Well, looking at this one, if I distribute uh, that 4, I get 4x plus 4 equals 2x plus 4. Uh, this is going to have a solution. I can tell right off the bat because I've got different, um, different expressions on either side of my equation. Okay, Let's combine the like terms over here and take a look. Combine my 2 and 9. I get 11 minus 5x equals 4 or minus 5x. Over here I see that I have both negative 5x, but I have 11 and 4. Well, if I take 5 xylophones away from $11 and 5 xylophones away from $4, those values are not going to be the same, so that is no solution. That's how I can tell right off the bat. Uh, but we could solve them both out. Let's do that. Um, so over here, subtract 2x, subtract 2x, I get um, 2x plus 4 equals 4, subtract 4, subtract 4, 2x equals 0. Now a lot of times students say, oh, this is no solution. Well, not, not quite. Let's keep solving it. If we divide by 2, divide by 2, I get x equals 0, which would be that the solution. Zero is my solution. Here, um, let's go ahead add 5x to each side and I get 11 equals 4 which that is not the case so that is no solution. Okay. Next up evaluate the expression below for the given values. 1 minus 2x plus 3y for x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 5. So here we're going to substitute those values in. My x value of negative 2. Uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, so 1 plus 4 plus 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus negative 15 is negative 10. Okay, next problem. 5 minus negative 1 minus 2 squared. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Okay, next up, I've got negative 5 over negative 1 plus 1, which would be negative 5 over 0, which is undefined. Remember, we cannot divide by 0. If we do that, we get math error. Okay. Lastly, we've got this equation here. 1 half times 2 plus 1 third times 5. Uh, remember, whenever we have a whole number times a fraction, we, 
make the whole number a fraction by putting a 1 under it. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, so we get 2 over 2 plus 5 over 3. So this would be 1 plus 5 over 3. Uh, we can convert 5 thirds to 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 plus 1 and 2 thirds is 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, calculate the output of the function given the input. If there is no possible output for the given input, explain why not. Well, if I input 1 here uh, for my input of this function, I would have f of 1 equals 1 over 1 minus 1, or 1 over 0, which is undefined. Cannot have that in the domain because um, it is undefined. It does not give us an answer. If you plug it into the calculator, it'll say math error. Okay, and then you got to skip problem 22. Hope that's all right. If you're feeling up for it, you can solve it. Um, but yeah, no pressure. Um, as always, if you guys have questions, come see me in ninth period. Otherwise, um, I hope you're understanding this completely. And uh, Zwayne's out.